We got her as a sheepdog, but we're not that good at training sheepdogs. They need to have some natural talent. So luckily she has some natural talent. And while she can't cast, once we've got the mob together, she just follows up behind and she's pretty good at getting them through the gates and that sort of thing. We got Jill as a little pup from Orange. Within probably eight months of having her, she broke a leg. And so she's got one dodgy leg. Jill loves going on the motorbike these days because of her sore leg. I think she likes to hitch a ride quite often. But um, yeah, if the bike's on, she's off. She's ready to go. Um, Jill can actually smile. I believe it's a smile. To others, it looks like she's baring her teeth. <laughs> but if I get her really excited or if we're at the back door and we're about to head out somewhere, she gets all excited and these, these little teeth come up like this and she's like squinches up her nose and it's this lovely big smile saying she's so excited to go somewhere. Jill's had a couple of litters of puppies. The best one we've had, um, we had eight. My mum was in at Fairview or Widden at the time and I took them in in Claire's little dolly pram and we've taken them into Fairview and all the residents were just over the moon to see these little puppies and they all got to hold them and yeah, it was really lovely. If Jill was a human, Perhaps she'd be an explorer, because she loves going exploring, don't you? And I've never, I've never been a real dog lover, like, you know, they're working dogs, first and foremost, but Jill's actually got under my skin a bit, and, um, and we are really good mates.